So you know how in 1.16 update, the nether received a major improvement with new biomes, new mobs and structures, but I personally always felt like we were missing something scary, and after we got the warden, I felt even more like we need some proper terrifying monsters in the nether, cause you know, scary place, scary monster, it's kind of a simple math really. Like sure, the piglin brutes are cool, but I don't think his floppy ears do him any favor. So I think we need something big and truly dangerous. And then at the end, I'm going to invite my friend and let her judge all of my creations. So I began thinking about what in the nether is dangerous to deal with, and I'm sure everybody has had that terrifying moment while crossing a lava ocean and nearly falling to your death. So why not make a creature that can live in a lava ocean? My mind went straight to a lava snake, because it's already burnt I guess. Wait, do snakes even have bones? Oh, they do actually have a lot of bones. Oh well, I'm gonna have to animate a lot of stuff. So I began by making one single rib and then copy pasting it multiple times. I added these fish like spines and I made some of them taller cause I wanted to look like a shark swimming with only its fin poking out of the lava. Which kind of reminded me, well not kind of, but exactly reminded me of the bone serpent from the game Terraria, which are quite terrifying even for a 2D game. I also stole the dolphin's AI and I used it to make the snake jump in and out of the lava. Okay so this is how it looks like, it's a little bit small, I promise it's not what I have in mind. It's kinda cute though, maybe I should make it a rare baby version. But now I had to make a texture so it doesn't look ugly. It was pretty straightforward, just a bone texture. And because I hate myself and I had to choose a mob with a thousand different bones, I suffered to make a good looking animation, but I think this turned out pretty great actually. But it's still a bit small. Okay, well this is a little bit too big, I can't even, I can barely see it. Okay, well, this is better I guess, this actually looks really awesome. And then I began to give it life. My idea for this thing is that while you're traversing these long and painful lava oceans by building a bridge, you may get noticed by the bone snake, and before you can even realize what is happening, the snake is charging towards you. And I also had an idea to make it break blocks like cobblestone, netherrack and deep slate and a bunch of others. You know, like totally fair and balanced game design. But it kind of lagged my game so that idea was scrapped. I also improved the diving animations a little bit to make for some really intriguing visuals. Which again reminded me of the worms in Terraria, which are these enemies that can traverse through stone and dirt and they can catch you off guard and you never know which way they're coming from. So that's what I did to the bone snake. I made it so if the snake falls into netherrack it actually starts to dive through it and now you don't even know where the hell this thing is. It could be behind you, it could be under you, it could be on your bed, it could be in your closet, it could be anywhere. But I don't want to make this completely unfair so I added a sound when the snake is digging around and this should tell the player that it's close by which honestly I think makes things a little bit freakier which is good you know that's the goal of this entire thing. For the next mob I wanted to make it live in my favorite biome the soul sand valley. I think it's the scariest of all of them and it has some of the spookiest sounds in this game like man if you thought the cave sounds were creepy just take a listen at the ambient sounds from this biome. There are literally souls crying and asking for help. One day Mojang adds cute looking camels and baby sniffers and cherry blossoms and the other day they make the souls of the damned cry for eternity. You can't find this in any other game, can you? So for this mob I wanted something that lurks and comes out of the ground kind of like the warden and uses the soul sand to hide inside. I started with a long neck that can bend which is made of movable segments. I added a skeletal arm with a realistic bony structure. Of course I had to add fingers because I think they just add a lot to it. My idea is that this is a creature made out of the two most common resources found in the soul sand valley. Soul sand and valley, just kidding it's bones, they are everywhere. So I added these cubes growing out of its body which will be multiple heads and I gave it two more arms growing in random areas just to make it look extra freaky you know. Then I slapped a soul sand texture on it and I began painting some screaming faces to make it look like soul sand. I painted the texture for the bones, gave it some creepy hair and an empty skeleton eyes and a movable jaw and some spines on its back. And I think it's looking pretty creepy already but now it's time to make it actually do some fun stuff. My idea for this thing is that this creature is some sort of amalgamation of hundreds of souls and bones found in the soul sand valley which all fused and turn into this thing. You know when you step in soul sand the player actually sinks into one pixel and you walk slower? I like to think that this is the result of the souls pulling you into the ground. Yeah, real child friendly stuff. So since this monster has multiple hands, I thought it would be cool if the arms burst out of the ground surprisingly and move towards you. And if you're not fast enough and get caught, I made it so you get forcefully pulled into the soul sand and start suffocating. And that's when the monster pops out of the ground and tries to attack you. I also added a creeping behavior that makes the creature stalk you a little bit before getting aggressive. So if you pay attention to your surroundings you may notice its elongated, disgusting worm like neck peeking out of the ground and staring at you before moving away. Then I made some very intense sounds for the arms bursting out of the ground to make this moment even more intense and scary. But it can get even better. I made something that took forever to get to work but actually I'm proud of it. I made it immortal. 
Hold on, let me explain. It's cooler than that. You can actually damage and kind of defeat it, but, but here's the twist. When his health gets low, his body explodes into a million pieces. He now gets into a state of resurrection, and here's the issue. Slowly, his body is going to rebuild itself, and at this stage, you cannot do any damage to him, and after it's done, it will begin to chase you again. And the only way for you to get rid of it is to leave the nether, because when you come back, he's going to be waiting for you. Angrier. So for my last creature, I decided that I would take a simpler route. So far, the monsters I have made were extremely complicated with many different behaviors and animations and it was taking a while to make them work. And maybe I was overthinking, you know, maybe I don't need some incredibly insane and complex creature to have something scary and dangerous. So I wanted to go back to the basics. So I decided to make a tree. Now hold on a second, this isn't just a normal tree, oh no, you see, the Crimson Forest is the safest biome in the nether, it's in here where you can find wood for your tools, piglins who you can trade with, and even food from hoglins, and no, they aren't remotely dangerous, and don't tell me that these pigs who get terrified of mushrooms are dangerous, come on. So I made the nether block ant, I basically built a tall crimson tree, I wanted to give it a spider-like shape which will fold and transform revealing its true form when the player walks close to it, basically it's gonna catch everybody off guard, it's the perfect monster, you will never not be paranoid while exploring the Crimson Forest again. I started by using cubes and stacking them on top of one another, dividing its body into four segments which will open up and separate so it can transform. I also wanted to give it a mouth which it will use to attack the player and I made it look like the Demo Gorgon from Stranger Things and if you squint you can kinda see it. And then I basically just slapped the existing block textures into it and done. I also gave it some creepy eyes located into its hidden interior made out of stripped crimson log. I finished the model by giving it some whipping vines so it blends even more with the deeply red surroundings. And do you know what else is red? The subscribe button of course, I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Anyways, I think all the creatures look great so far, so now it's time to invite my friend and see her reaction to all of them. <laughs> look at it! So it just jumped back into a tree! <laughs> oh my goodness, it kind of like peels down like a banana. <laughs> nice. I like that description. Wait, is it that guy? Yes it is! I can, I can tell which one it is now. That's gross. It looks... Kind of looks like it has the kind of looks like the squid that they scrapped him. Oh my gosh! Hey, 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 hey! There's three of them. Oh, there's there's three or three of them. <laughs> Are you a tree? Are you gonna kill me? No. Are you gonna kill me? Gosh! Hey, 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 hey! Calm down there! Oh my gosh! Okay, that strider scared the heck out of me. What? Is it not supposed to have It's two of them. There's two of them. Should have given me more armor so I can survive a little bit longer. No. Ugh! Jerk. Oh! Big dude! Big dude, I like it. It's, it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, does it? Yep, it comes out from the floor, doesn't it? Oh. Okay, okay, I, I take that back. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Ah! Really? Really? Really right in front of me? I can't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> I like that. Wait, he's gone. Visually wise, I like the snake. That's he nice. looks cool. Uh, this one's the creepiest. The tree's silly. I like the tree. <laughs> I wish you could tame the snake as a pet, because I would definitely do that. <laughs> and just ride him across the lava. And with that, I have successfully made Minecraft just a little bit scarier. Just how it should be, but we're not even close to being done. There will be more. A lot more. So, see ya. Bye bye.